Hello everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to raise you up here a minute, I think. Okay, there we go. Today is Wednesday, I just looked, the 18th of August. This will be Charm Chatter number 223. Uh, and let's see what everybody can talk about. I have some wings washcloths to show you, an update there. I have a finished project. I have two new whips, kind of. And one kind of forgotten whip that I've pulled out to show you uh, because I started working on it again. And then at the end, there's going to be a giveaway. So watch till the end. Uh, so first off, <clears throat> I finished Amanda's blanket. I mean, Chloe's blanket, the one for her dorm room that I made out of that yarn called Turin from Hobby Lobby. It was a six or seven weight, six weight, six weight. And I used a 15 millimeter hook with it. And, um, I don't remember the colorway and I did not bring the ball band and I do not have the blanket to show you. So that is my one finished object and it's gone. <laughs> I sent her, when I finished it, I sent her the picture that I will insert somewhere around here. Uh, I don't know if it'll be in here or the whole page, but, um, I, uh, finished it and I texted her this picture and she's like, I love it. I want it. I can't wait to have it. And she buzzed over after they were done sorting out her, her, her dorm room that day. They buzzed over and picked it up and whisked it away. And, um, I didn't even get a picture of her in it, but I used four skeins. It's 270 yards per skein and it is as long as my couch and Chloe wrapped it around herself like this and it was from her shoulders to her feet in width and then the length was wrapped around her plus a little so it's a good size um and that was four skeins and so i have two more skeins of a different color that i bought last year when they were on clearance because they're regular 20 bucks and i bought them for five so last year i bought two skeins in a like a tealy kind of color and I didn't, I thought I was going to make a rug out of them for my bathroom. Mm -mm. Nope, way too nice of a yarn for the bathroom floor. Now, now that I've worked with it, it's gorgeous. And it's soft and it's cuddly and it needs to be a blankie. So that'll be probably a good size like individual throw or lap blanket, you know. And so that's what I will eventually do with that yarn. Um, it does have wool in it in um, just a little. I think it was 10% wool. Which is why Jaxi uh, didn't end up wanting it after all. And then um, I said I'd try it with Chloe for her room. And it's just perfect apparently. And looks great. And maybe one day I'll have a picture of her room with it in there. But right now I just have a picture of it on my rocker. And that's what you'll be seeing. And um, I someone has said that they might have discontinued that yarn. I hope it was just that color. And not the whole yarn. Because that yarn is fabulous and um i mean i would buy more of it on clearance <laughs> uh, i can't I, I i mean i i work yarn on a budget so <laughs> uh, i generally only buy it when it's on clearance so anyway that being said um i hope they are not discontinuing that yarn altogether if you've not ever used it and you can get it at a reasonable price, definitely try something with it. So the next thing that I have to show you is the two new projects I'm making. Um, oh, by the way, that I did that blanket in a ripple. I was originally trying to use a pattern from Lion Brand on how to make a ripple. Uh, and I did get the stitch count from that blanket. And that's all. Um, it, they were using multiple colors and it, it just was like I, I lost track of where I was supposed to be with what they were doing so I just did what I was doing <laughs> and so what I did to make it was um, three rows of single crochet and then one row of double crochet and then three rows of single and one row of double and it gave it a lot of texture and I think it's I think it's just beautiful so um, on to the next project the new projects that I started I'm making shrugs for Ari and Avery, my two youngest grandchildren. They start school at the end of at the beginning, I think some 
after Labor Day, I think they're starting school. And I bought this yarn uh, on the Hobby Lobby clearance, and it is called Darling Deer. Um, it's a three weight. There's 295 yards. It's 90%, 97% acrylic, 3% polyamide in the skein. Now, this color is called... Uh, I just had it right in front of my face. Merry Little Mariner. Uh, and it's Blick Blues, Teals, Grays. Uh, and it's this bumpy yarn. I don't know if there's a special name for this kind of bumpy yarn, but that's what this is. It's bumpy yarn. It's very, very soft. And like I said, I think I said it's a lightweight three. And the color is working up like this. So you got the light blue is at the top and then you go into some grays and you know dark and light and then into the other blue and it ombres very nicely it's like a fade in effect which i totally love that in a yarn when it fades in i hate it when it's like an abrupt change of color um then you have to color control when it's a fade you don't have to color control and so this is like fades just beautifully this is a pattern that I found a tutorial on by Mary Mary, and it's M-E-R-R-Y-M-A-R-Y, -R -R Mary Mary. Uh, and this is called the Lacy Easy Shrug for Beginners. Um, and it's very simple, one row repeat. Well, I guess two row repeat because you end two different ways and start two different ways. Um, anyway, I totally love the pattern, and I think this is going to be a a good size for Ariana because I don't want it to be it's you know it's a shrug so you fold it in half and then sew the sides together and leave armholes and I just want it to be sleeve width and so I think this is a good sleeve width for Ari I measured it did shrink up a little bit but I still think it it might you know, like for my original chain after I worked a few <laughs> rows it wasn't the same and I didn't measure again so I'm not sure that it's gonna fit her it gets a really beautiful border that's going to add a couple of, at least an inch, maybe two, inch and a half to it. Um, but I just want it to come down like under, under the chest, you know, and be like a cropped little thing. So I'm hoping that this is the right size. Uh, but I'm not going to crochet on it any longer until I get together with that child and her sister, because her sister is getting the same shrug, just in a different color. And I have hers completed as well up to the point where I think I want to um, kind of try it on them and see if it's the right size. Now Avery's is not quite as wide and like I said I just want it to be t-shirt width like short sleeve shirt width and they could still wear a long sleeve shirt underneath it or they could wear a like tank top underneath it. So you know the idea is that they could wear different they could wear it probably all year in, in school um if it's hot they could wear it to like just cover up their shoulders a little um so anyway this is the way that Avery's is turning out and hers they call this color and here it is in the look it looks really yellow but on here it looks more green you can see more green in it than what I can see in the skein this color is called Sunny Stroll. And anyway, I think they're real pretty. And I am making this with a seven millimeter. No, take that back. Eight millimeter um, clover hook. So these are my two, new, twoest pro, two newest projects. And this pattern is working up so quickly. Maybe because it's just that they're so small. Um, but I did Avery's... Uh, after dinner yesterday, uh, I crocheted it up and I ate a bowl of ice cream all between 6 30 and 8 o'clock. <laughs> um, so it, it did work out pretty quickly. Um, and I was watching TV and chatting, and you know, so it was kind of a leisurely crochet, it wasn't like I was just diligent about it. And I still did it in that amount of time. So I, I'm thinking I want to make one for myself but I just don't know which yarn to make it out of. Uh, something thin and a big hook. And, but I'm thinking maybe I want to do something more solid. And I was gifted some really beautiful, lightweight lavender yarn. I'm 
thinking I might want to do that. I don't know because I don't have a lot of lavender to wear that with. And I have a lot of skeins of that lavender, so I could do something much bigger. Which is why I haven't started on that one yet. But I am, now those are going to be, I hope to get to the girls maybe um, tomorrow. I'm hoping that maybe I can buzz over there and just try their clothes on them and buzz out. Then if you guys are um, new to my channel, you won't know this. But if you're around, I've been around for a while. Thanks for coming back again and again. Um, but I started a blanket for my daughter-in-law's brother. It was to be a graph gown uh that is to look like the pattern of it is to be the pattern um of van halen's guitar and it's red black and white and it's got all these geometrical lines and uh, one of my subscribers i i tried to make it by hand and i tried to do there's a website as that i can't remember the name of that i couldn't make work to do what i needed to do and anyway there was one of my subscribers sent me a graph a blanket that just was so generous and so I went and had it blown up and I started working on it and I'm telling you it was killing me I totally hated doing it and I've done a couple of graph bands small um and I love the corner to corner stitch but I just was having trouble with it and it was too much it was hard to even blown up follow the lines on the pattern um I kept losing my place losing my line I tried to go back and forth. I tried to go corner to corner. And anyway, I got a big square done. And I'm like, it took me 75 days. <laughs> I mean, I just felt like I worked on this for an entire lifetime. And I have this square. So I decided, oh, I'm just going to end this and make a pillow out of this and give it to him along with a modern granny. I'll just use the rest of the yarn and make him a black, red, and white modern granny. So I'll have a blanket. And he will have the pillow and he can put the pillow with the blanket. And so it went up in my whip closet and it's been sitting there. Um, and I was thinking about that. And I'm like, what 50 year old single guy wants a crochet pillow sitting on his couch? Even if it does look like Van Halen's guitar. It's probably not the coolest look for a 50-year-old single guy. So I decided I'm not doing that. And I took the big square and I started making the modern granny around the square. Um, I think you still get the idea of the Van Halen guitar. And now you're getting the modern granny. So this is what it looks like. Let me turn it more sideways. I think we got the front or the back. It's hard to tell. This is the front. No, I'm looking at the front. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, I'm crocheting this way. Okay, so this side is the front. Yep, I had it the right way. Duh. So, here's the granny. And then the um, graph band part in the center. And then back to the modern granny. So... What I decided is I'm going to do, I did three rows of the red, which Van Halen's guitar is mostly red, and then these geometrical designs are put on it, the white lines and the um, black lines. And this is, this color I think is called Scarlet. It's a uh, Canon One Pound, and then white, and then this is uh, Dreamweaver Black. Again, if you're new to my channel, you might not know that name. Um... But there's a local store here that was selling yarn, really inexpensive. And I believe it's all or mostly was Red Heart Super Saver. Um, Red Heart yarns, anyway. Th different kinds of Red Heart yarns. And uh, they would sell it under their own label. Um, and I think it was more like Millen's. So anyway, that's what the black is. I can't get that yarn anymore, which is really a bummer because it was very inexpensive. My black, I think, I think this big ball of black. Let me see. There's the Dreamweaver name on it. I think I paid, 
$1.69. It doesn't generally give you yardage. Uh, oh, 867 yards. I think it paid $1.69. And that was like, but if they had the big balls, that's what they sold it for. Uh, the regulars would be two for a dollar or two for dollar twenty nine skeins of yarn, so really a bummer that I can't get that anymore. Uh, and it, I know that it's red hard super saver because I've been able to match the colors completely a hundred percent. So anyway, this is my now not in timeout whip anymore. I'm gonna finish this up. I think I'm gonna do three rows of red, and then one or two of the granny part in white and then three rows of red and then one or two rows of black and then three rows of red. Uh, and I think I will keep it consistent with that, but maybe not. I might then go, which really I shouldn't because Van Halen's guitar, there's no consistency. So probably I should go three rows of red and then two rows of black and then one row of red and three rows, you know, which I might do that too. Um, it's undecided until it actually happens. So, uh, there's no pattern uh, that I can... Well, there there is a YouTube tutorial for the Modern Granny. I guess I could link that. Uh, I think it is by Yarnspirations. I'm pretty sure. So, I will try to remember to link the Modern Granny. And I will link the lace... Easy Lace Shrug, and then the Ripple. I'm not going to link that one. Okay, so now on to uh, the wings. I got a box from Robin from Pennsylvania. And Robin has informed me there are 18 wash rags in here. And look at all the pretty colors. Can you see them? Robin sent them wrapped uh, so cool. I will show you. So here's a green one and it says Craft Blue Robin Handmade uh, Crochet Washcloth and then it says suitable for knit or for bath. So you can use it in the wash rag or the bathroom, um, you know, kitchen or, or bathroom rags. And now I looked up Crafty Blue Robin on YouTube looking for a channel, and I did not find one. So, Robin, if you have a YouTube channel, um, send me the link because I will attach it to this video. And, you know, maybe people, hopefully people would stop by and subscribe and like your, your um, YouTube channel. And um, we are grateful for the entries that'll give you 18 entries into the drawing for the yarn ball uh, stained glass yarn ball that I'll be holding at the beginning of September these washcloths are going to wings um, from with Rose from Rose Likes Crochet and she has to have them she is physically taking them for donation in October so you have until the end of this month the 31st to get the wash rags to me anything that you want to support uh, enter to subscribe. I will be drawing the name at the beginning of September, the first to second, uh, depends on how many tickets I have to write up. So I will be writing up 18 tickets for Robin today. And again, Robin, if you're watching this, as I said, please, um, notify me if I need to do something to, uh, delete, delete or whatever the well, not delete. Um, to find your YouTube channel. What am I talking delete? I don't want to delete your YouTube channel. Um, to find your YouTube channel. Or maybe you have an Etsy store. I don't know. Um, but I will enter you in the giveaway. And speaking of giveaways. I'm having one. So that's the last thing I wanted to talk about today. I... As you may or may not know, I bought yarn at Hobby Lobby on their clearance sale. And now I need to put that yarn away. And I'm having trouble. <laughs> so I am rearranging in the yarn room. And i am come to the conclusion that all of it is probably going to fit. That's not a problem. Um, but in going through the yarn and rearranging, I found some woolies. 
yarn that I really am not going to work with. Um, Amanda might kill me for giving away this one colorway, but she hasn't had much time for crochet and um, it's wool, so you have to take care of it. So do bear in mind, as I said, there is wool in this yarn. Um, and I have two different colorways, if I didn't say that already. The first one is, I know I don't say this right, Hecate? He, he, I don't know, Hectate? I hope that focuses in, I can't tell. And these are the colors in it. It is... Um, 150 gram ball, 5.3 ounces, 590 yards, 400 or 540 meters. Um, it is a, oh, it's a light three, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. I have a slight issue with wool. Uh, and I know that I won't make something to wear out of this for myself. Um, and I really don't want to work with it. Um, uh, uh, Amanda's blanket, I mean Chloe's blanket, had 10% wool and didn't bother me. These feel scratchy to me, and everybody tells me how soft they are. Um, but they feel scratchy to me, so I don't want to make something to wear myself. I really don't want to work with them. Um, I do have cream to make the itchy go away when I work with wool, but I'd rather just not work with the wool. So the other color that I have is uh, Aphrodite. And that colorway looks like this. And it looks like this. So uh, I'm going to start the giveaway today. When this video is uploaded, the giveaway will be working. You need to uh, like, well, you need to be subscribed to my channel. You need to make a comment. Um, we're going to have a word in that comment, the word skein, S-K-E-I-N. I know these are cakes, so that'll be tricky. You got to put the word skein in your comment. Um, by commenting, you are accepting all responsibilities for any duties or taxes or government stuff, legal mumbo jumbo, um, any of that stuff that, part that, uh, any anybody has to do with I am agreeing to pull a winner on what next Wednesday the I believe it's 25th I'm going to pull one winner they will get this yarn and I will send it to them everything else you're responsible for <laughs> um, including uh, being subscribed you have to be subscribed I will check because this is for my subscribers as a thank you uh, and as I said do be aware that there is wool it's 20% wool. If you have an issue with wool, please don't enter. Um, thanks, honey. And uh, I will see you in the next video, I guess, because I don't have anything else to chatter about today. <laughs> so, uh, again, enter. Good luck. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Did I tell you I have five skeins? I think I did. Okay, I had five. Three of the Aphrodite, two of the Heptate. Um, so, your gain is my loss or something like that. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the colors. I hope you enjoy the yarn. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye.